Hi, and welcome to a new Plugin Guru video. My name is John Skippy Limpool. Welcome, glad to see you. I am thrilled to introduce you to a new Omnipulse library. I love these libraries. This is nothing but BPM tempo locks. In this case, aimed a little bit more at cinematic, but there's still stuff here for dance heads and for EDM and modern productions all over the place. Um, I really wanted to try to, it, the first two Omnipulses, the first one was just patches because we weren't in, I, I wasn't into multis back then. That was before Airwave showed up and opened my eyes to the power of multis. And then Omnipulse 2 is a library where I built kind of electronic. Well, be before I show you those, I'll show you those in a second. But there's some really cool, unique things in this library I want to show you up front so you don't have to go through the whole video to see that you want to have this right away. This is really cool. Um, one thing that I've wanted to Im really focus on was trying to get some articulation kind of things that sound like a Boeing string orchestra, not a Boeing airplane, but bowed with a bow, you know, the nice marcato kind of thing. So, um, I worked really hard to come up with some really unique things that sound like this. I'm just going to play octaves. It's doing everything for me. Um, I would show you the art, but then I'm giving away some of the some of the tricks in this particular one, so I'm not going to show you, which is very rare for me. But uh, this is one where you need to buy the library and play with it to see what I'm doing in this case to get this to work. But uh, the version two is that same thing, but without the bend, the bend. So it's just. So you can do that kind of stuff. There's from one to five simple to more complex marcados. That was simple. Here's one of the more complex ones. And I did the same thing for eighth notes. So you have this eighth note. Uh, more complex. So I found elements that I could combine to get a Boeing effect because there is no set of samples that sound like that in Omnisphere that's created with synthesis with combining different sample sets all inside of Omnisphere there's no new samples added to this library but uh, the it took a lot of work to get everything just right um, so I'm not going to show you those patches that's part of the secret good stuff in this library another thing that's really cool with this library I, I I've shown this and I've mentioned this a number of times there are tons of phrases inside of Omnisphere. And because of the, re the, like the pioneering work that Airwave did for Volume 3, where he released drum loops, we have a library of drum loops for Omnisphere. Um, and then I've added drum loops in Signs of Life and in Colors. And There's in, drum loops. Uh, We've gotten into the drum loop kind of things. And that's using this technique that he started with using granular and then having an LFO that's tempo synced going through while at the same time the arpeggiator is re-triggering the note to keep it in tempo. And so it's a complex set of parameters that are inside of Omnisphere to make it work. But um, I used that <laughs> and I went through all of these thousands of, well, there, I don't know if there's thousands, but there's an absolutely ton starting here of PHR files, all of these. There's singers, there's Mexico, there's African choirs, there's opera singers, men, women, there's all sorts of percussion instruments, there's plucked. Uh, it's, it's crazy how much stuff there is in the PHR phrases. And these are, if we were to initialize, let's see, this is Obala. So let's say let's initialize this patch. And let's go over here to the sample set, go Obala. Let's type it in to make it easy. Obala. Oh, bala, bala, 
Try to find the tempo to that. Right? But because of the granular and the pulsing, I was able to find a tempo where it played and made a cool... So I'm pulsing it there. I've got some other stuff I'm going, you could. Using the high pass filtering. So it's that phrase, but it's been reimagined. And I've done that to a whole bunch. If we go over here and we turn on stack mode, you can start doing the omnipulse dance, which is just randomly picking different things in the library. Let's choose a couple of phrases. Let's choose, so we've got one of those pulses. Let's get Obala in there. Let's go to part three. Let's get a drum. We could go for something really, really let's, let's go for Precinct 13th. This is a John Carpenter synth drum groove. So all of these phrases, I found ways to tempo lock them. And when you get to the multi-mode, let me show you just one of these. We'll do these at the end to show off everything, but just for fun. Uh, oh, let me show you this one here, New World Tribal Power. So this is one using samples and synthesis and phrases using that tempo lock to make a and it's tempo lock so if I speed this up and then I have all the four cc's of controllers to mess up. So, this is a crazy light, but now if we compare just real quickly, this is like Omnipulse 2, is all these really cool kind of synthy things and... Uh, you know, happy, kind of synthy, dreamy, electronic. Here's Savannah Good Times. This is using the phrases and a whole different approach. So. so it's a whole different type of library. Right? Here are the phrases. All sorts of cool things. So this is a special library unto itself. It's crazy, it came out so cool, but it's different than everybody else. So the phrases, the strings, all the drums and percussion, tick tocks. I'll show you the pulses in a second, but there's also things like uh Motion, synthesis, acoustic samples. crazy with these. Um, Lost in the Weeds is a... This is definitely more cinematic. play on the keyboard it's different so I went for a whole bunch of different things that I haven't gone for before in this library the, the string phrases uh, the synth pulses let me show you those really quick and then I'm gonna do a whole patch walkthrough but I just want to give you a quick summary 
of how insanely cool this library is. It's not like anything else I've done. And it's only using the sounds inside of Omnisphere. Uh, you know, Omnisphere has been out for 11 years. 11 years. I've spent like half of a year programming this sucker, right? And so it's really cool to still find new things to do with the sounds that are inside of Omnisphere. They're nowhere, anywhere, even close to hitting the end of the bucket, you know? Um, so the pulses, uh, this is what started the whole thing, actually. Um, a, a dear friend of mine and a client that I've done a lot of programming work in when I lived in L.A., and we've talked, and he's bought libraries of mine through the years. And he contacted me saying, I, I can't find simple pulses. I just need some simple, you know, just simple. <laughs> it seems like so basic, you know, but we as programmers, we love to like get everything going crazy and having effects and all this stuff going on. And a lot of times you just need a tempo locked. Simple stuff. So I made a bunch of pulses sending to him, and he's like, these are so cool. I love these. Thank you so much. And different techniques. Actually, there's a whole technique series here where I'm using LFOs. So you don't have the chance to get like releases like bells, but later, this is a different technique using the, and then this is using an amp. So you can get the ring out. And the cool thing with these is to realize this is a template. Everything I'm showing you, these are all templates. So you can go samples, go over here to anything, not Obala, don't use Obala. Um, but you can go to any of these things. Let's just go to, just so we go synthesizers. So we're kind of in some sort of category. Let's say blue stacker. You can go through all of the sounds for days that are inside of Omnisphere. Go to the D50 sounds and have. So the idea is that these are starting templates that you can now go deep diving and make your own things easily from. But it's from a simple starting point. A lot of these, you know, if you want to like program, you have to like strip a bunch of stuff away. That's not the case here. These are just. Very, very simple and basic for a lot of the pulses. So you have basic pulses, you have all these really cool string things, you have all the phrases, you have a boatload of TikToks. Um, they start really easy, right? It's just one sound and finding the right settings and using some sample start offsets and different things to get varieties. And then whatever your tempo is, they will play. You know, hurry up, open up that box. Some of these have all sorts of things hidden on them. Then they get more complex. Right? All sorts of stuff to play with. So there's TikToks and percussion, and then there's the drums and basses and bells and synths and pads and stuff. But the main emphasis that's new is these really cool string lines, the pulses, and the phrases. That's really cool stuff. So with that, let me show you the multis first, because those, those are like really fun to play, and they show you a ton of stuff and how they can work together in different ways. So here is, uh, there's 13 multis, and these took a lot of time to work and create. So here we go. This is, I believe, just a layer, five parts. So one note at 140 beats per minute. I should point out I'm using a um, Native Instruments Jam as my controller. And uh, I'm just going and playing with those. 
And you can see right here on the show MIDI, this is a free MIDI effect that's available for free at uh, PluginGuru.com. I also have this that we've created. This is ModMate. It's another MIDI effect that lets you control or see your hardware. You can actually control from here. Right? It's far easier with hardware to on the queue you want them all to come down doing that with a mouse with four places that you have to move is is good luck <laughs> you're not going to have good success there my friend but so that's these tools are available to help you those just so you can see it and if nothing else you can control it the other thing that's really cool is if you go to midi cc1 and you just check the boxes for all four it you've now stacked so that midi cc1 will send out all four midi cc's Previous libraries, before we went to this 4 MIDI CC thing, I'd have the mod wheel going. Like the uh, OMG libraries, for example. Um, so you can still get back to that where there's all sorts of stuff happening just on the mod wheel. With ModMate. But the difference is, is that these libraries, um, thanks again to Airwave pioneering this and kind of like going, you know, as a DJ, I want more control over different things. I want to be able to do these things that affect the sound without affecting the effects. So we set it up so that we have this system so that um, one is usually filtering or volume, two is harmonic, three is usually distortions and stuff, and four, this is MIDI CC7, is effects. So I can do all this stuff without the effects going crazy too. So that's the reason why Mod Mate is really important. Um, and again, if you only have a modulation wheel, you can just check the boxes in the column straight down. And now your mod wheel does all four. So now you can sequence, record with your modulation wheel. It goes in and now you have all this cool sound changing in really cool ways. Okay. So that's Mod Mate and Show MIDI. You should know about those. Um, Show MIDI was actually designed by Shane Dunn, who's working with me to work on um, Unify. The plugin will be releasing soon and created these first. He's, he's one of these problem solver type of guys who are like, oh, I see that you're having a problem because you don't have. So he made these for us to use and they're great and they're free. <laughs> so that's really nice. By the way, if you want to get this library, you can go to my website, PluginGuru.com. And it is on an introductory special price. Um, until October 1st of 2925. After that, its retail is $39 um, for 133 patches and 13 multis. So this is uh, Driven to Fears. We can slow it down. Right? Uh, Enter the Badman is just crazy. I did a demo song today with this. I, I did not realize I could take things out so far with this. Um, it's a split. So you have this sound down here, then up high. Then bring the mod wheel back. You got groove. And then there's patches hidden. So you play a note, MIDI CC2. I'll do this with uh, Mod Mate so you can see it. This is one bass that bells. Here's another one. This is on the right hand.
so you have hidden patches. <laughs> so, it's crazy, so you can go... Okay, so that's one multi. So much flexibility. Uh, fake news strings is just a simple layer of. That's really fun, intense issues. Um, let's see here. I can't remember exactly what to do with this one. So when you don't know what to do, set to like 110 beats per minute and just play G. Oh yeah. <laughs> so this has a singer, just some of those phrases. This is a freeform vocal seven. So all these sounds work together in really cool ways for cool kind of crazy things. So here's Lost in the Weeds, this is fun. There's a low drum, tick tock, storm. It's changing reverb. All sorts of, this is a noise shaker, it's just using noise. But the, I have a flanger with the delay time and stuff changing. That's a lot of fun. Uh, mission critical. You know, you, if you're going to do a cinematic library, you have to have a mission critical. So here's mine. Bill, the bomb's going to go off. Get out of that room. And there's some cool things. Doomfall is just this massive. Hit with a pitchy G sine wave and all that good stuff going on. Tick tocks. This is kind of like a drum thing. Then phrases. Having that phrase in there adds so much. Just like this shaker is going on and a little human timing to it. It's great. And then a big pulse. Gotta have a pulse. Right? There's actually two things for the pulse. I have this one set up to make it go away. So when you have it in the big mix, if you want, Make the bass go away. But you still have the doom. So you can go to all sorts of places with these. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy fun. Uh, New World Tribal Power. I love this one. Uh, Makes me want to dance. The flute and MIDI CC4 kind of have a problem. I'm changing the pitch, so you get all sorts of weird melodies. Ooh. It's fun, fun stuff. 
uh, Savannah Good Times. So these are really just showing that how the patches work together. If you wanna use these this way, cool. If you wanna start from here and then like go, maybe I don't want part four. Maybe I want it to be some sort of different sound. So I could go over here. Let's try some phrases. Cool. So you can change things up all sorts of ways. Starting points are just what these multis are, okay? Saving the world. Yeah, we got to have the happy. Now, there's a big kick drum missing. You'd use a kick drum from a drum machine or something like that. But this is everything else for this. There's actually a kick drum in there, but it's just very kind of just mute. It's a sine wave. I love this. This is the jet stream mad. Isn't that cool? Taped kind of a flange effect. I don't keep going all the way down. Okay. So that's a fun one. Let's see, what else we got? Oh, the tiger waits for its prey. Here in the Sahara. Oh, it'd be the Sahara? Yeah, it could be the Sahara. Out, not in the outback, that's Australia. <laughs> Uh, watch that guy. Another one you gotta watch out for those neighbors. It's crazy stuff. And I love my description on this one. I don't know if you've ever read my descriptions. I spend time sometimes with these. And this is a fun one because it's like if you were to take the leftovers from one breakfast and two dinners and mix in a bowl, it might sound something like this. Like, oh, is that part of that omelet I had yesterday? That kind of works. Just when you start mixing. Cool stuff. Now, Precinct 13th. Um, this is based on a John Carpenter film. Uh, and so it's got the drum groove, but it's really slow. It's like, like 90 beats per minute. So slow it down or 80, right? So this is like the old school OMG style, which means that there's a drum groove playing on low C that you hit low C again and it stops. This is how the, all the OMG libraries are this way. There's a low C to start the drum groove and then the rest of the keyboard you can play to play really cool stuff. Um, but. The, So you have this analog bass. sorts of places take you so it's fun okay and then time passing is the split where it has this nice bass with groove stuff speed it up and then up here So that 
epic bass tone that Omnisphere is known for. And again, you can mess it up. Those are the multis. Fun stuff. So let's initialize multis. Let me quickly show you the patches. I don't want to spend a long time on this video, but I want to show you how cool it is. It's got so much different places you can go. So bases, we have a and again, four CCs. Driven to fears. Fire version. And driven to tears, because after fears you have tears. And then the fire version. Right? I bark you. And then the fire version. Patient sub. And again, let's get a uh, mod mate. Right. Again, you need hardware. The, yeah, uh, Korg makes a really nice little tiny micro control, I believe it's called, or the native machine, anything but faders. Faders work the best. If you have knobs, it's really hard to do four knobs at once with two hands. I've, I've tried, trust me. Um, here's your mad jet stream sub. Precinct 13. Octaves on the mod, real stuff like. You get some cool pulses. Right? Here's another one. Again, these are mono bases. There's some synth ones later you'll find. Slowly driving me mad. All sorts of stuff here. Fun stuff. Okay. I'll just keep that right there so I can grab it every now and then. Slowly driving you mad. This is using one of the inner space presets. Here's without it. But with it just kind of follows along and gives you this weird vaporous effect. 
time passing by. Fire version. Okay, that's the basses. Here's bells. These are the hidden patches in that one multi I showed you. Which, if you turn off the ARP, That's the case with almost all of these. Here's Marco Fifth, uh, Marcato Fifth as a chord. Synth. So I took some of the things that were down here, the strings, and tried them with synth parts too, just to give us some variety. So you could layer them and do, this is a uh, Marcato Fifth, I think it's eighth. Right? Well, this is the BPM synth version, kind of like that uh, as a chord, because it's got a fifth in it, so. MIDI pulse your ass. Okay. Yeah, I have a detuning of just one oscillator for a cool effect you can do. So when you're doing horror things, tuning can make things unsettling. Right? Uh, bad man kick. Synthy kick. It's using a sine wave and all sorts of other tricks going on. Okay. Uh, we'll just keep going. Uh, just using that phrase you hear in there, Doomfall, Big Fall and all that stuff. Uh, then there's A Eraser Head, here's Straight Eraser Head. You can control. <laughs> you can go weird if you want. But here's one with the LFOs doing things. Make it kind of like a nine inch nails thing. Right? Really fun. Um, eraser head. Oh, I showed you that. And then, yeah. Different take on the LFOs. Doing distortion and reverb. Drops down. Firecracker war drums. Just happy. Love that stuff. Uh, Malay 4x4. Again, this is just synthesis. We get some cool noise things. Here's the precinct 13th hi hats. Write this to do open close high hats if you want. Uh, the kick and snare. Do all sorts of fun things like that. Uh, psychotic mask 4x4. That's another revised version of the eraser head. And then rolling water. This actually has a phrase in it. And then air raid. <laughs> cool stuff. Uh, the effects chatting storms. Uh, torture cycle effects. Okay, uh, time passing by. Cool. 
couple leads. This just has Mod Wheel 1 doing a... Sparse sign. Uh, string pads. Right? Dark version. Uh, flutter pad. Counting on you. So now we're getting into the noise perk stuff. They all can go cool, fun places. So it basically has uh, CC1 and 2 doing things. Like I said, they don't all have 4. Yeah, it's just 1 and 2 for the hi-hats, for the shakers. Okay. Uh, very hats. That's doing that motion inside. I'm using a cool trick. Um, this is using just velocity on the an envelope decay trim. So velocity in the arpeggiator is controlling how much decay I get. And I could go over here and make my decay longer. If I want to have more control. Make it longer and, and get more carried away. By the way, there's a real cool thing here. If you want, you use a duplicate range and it will double the art pattern that you've created. Whatever it is, it'll just double it. So that way you can easily then duplicate this and now you've doubled it. So you can easily make really cool rhythm patterns. Just start with something small and duplicate it once you have a basics for the rhythm. It's really fun. Double this. Okay, TikToks. Man, when's this video gonna get over? I got a football game to watch. <laughs> ah, you can't see the arps for some of these. All sorts of things are being controlled with LFOs. You see, get really cool ticky things. Yes, it says right there what I'm doing. It's a secret. I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> yeah, it's using a pitchy G to make the sound drop. It's kind of fun. Same here. Pitchy G's up with the elbow controlling it. three different variations on load drums as you can see this is using the load drum and a sine wave goes without the sine wave it's almost like a kick drum okay now I get to the phrases um I'm gonna do this just so you can hear that it's tempo locked. I'm gonna go to part two and have it just play like a four on the floor. Okay. And I have this one, the LFO that makes it go away for the second. It plays and then it's gone because there's a square wave LFO on the volume for like four majors. So for two majors, it's up. One. Now it's down. So it's repeating again right now, but you can't hear it. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna go through some of these. Uh, China flute. Got this cool, like, it's like almost crying, you know? The dude, dude drum loop. Love this. Get down. Uh, the, the, no. This is a variation using that same loop, but just programmed differently. Freeform female. What's that you saying? <laughs> Turn him to like a, what's that fly doing in the room, you know? Now, just so you know, if you play too high up the keyboard, These will fall apart. It tries, but some of these, the samples are playing into other timing pieces before it gets a 16th note or something, and so the timing gets off. So they do have a limited range where they work really well. Maybe that works for what you're doing for if you're doing something a little bit more outside. Pretty cool. Uh, Telly Rhythm. Unrecognizable Ellis. The low end it didn't work, but just come this kind of like sometimes you want things that break the rhythm in different unique ways that are kind of more organic, and that's where I thought these were really cool. to the sequence melodies. Okay. Then we have the strings. These are... And then you can control the rosin, all sorts of things. Volume.
Very fun. My goodness. Uh, Calling India. So if you want to copy this, here's the art. I'm going to show it for like a friction of a second. Ready? Boom. Boom. So you have to pause it and then you can program it if you really, really want to do that. But uh, here's without the bins. A lot easier if you just buy the library, okay? And I would appreciate it a lot. So there's different variations. And of course, this means that now you can go to that arpeggiator pattern and change the rhythm really easily. It's a lot of fun to come up with new ones. Load up action strings from Contact and just find something there that you like rhythm-wise and then implement that rhythm into the arpeggiator and see what you get. Not that I did that. I didn't do that for this. I just was doing rhythms off my head. But you can do that because that's kind of what, in the back of my mind, my inspiration was that library that's playing real string rhythms and so forth, but with different string sounds. So that's what I kind of tried to recreate here, so. But if there was a memory to like show you everything that I've loaded plugin wise, I have not loaded that library. So I didn't actually like sit and copy these things. That's just off. Because the idea is you're buying libraries from me. And so I didn't want to just do a copy. So these are inspired by that concept, but they're straight 100% from me. Play them all day long. Rosin Dance. And I hope you can hear, I also didn't just copy the same string sound for all of these. There's variations on the parameters so that I have. That's a very different string sound then. Right? So I wanted different vibes. The rosin fire. Then we get to the synths. Here are synthesizers. This is the pulse that Bob Deedes, who did one of the demo sequences for this library, did a really cool one. Um, he made this, and so it's kind of cool. This is the first library. Uh, Bob Deedes has made uh, demo songs for probably 75% of the libraries I've released. I really appreciate his involvement. He's, a, he's in Greece, I believe. Um, but he has, if you head it to the tags, he's in there. He has a credit. Bob Deedes has a credit now uh, inside of Omnisphere. So I'm really happy to give that to him for his just giving me these patches as bonus patches to give to you. There's actually four patches. If you go to author and go to Bob Deedes, there's four patches in here that he worked on as far as making things that he needed for his demo. I was like, well, I'll just put them in with everything else. So they are there. Um, here's Mercado. This is another one of those for the Mercado string idea, but used with strings. Another idea. So 
This means you could start with one of these string patterns up here and like just go to synth waveforms and you'll end up in all sorts of cool new places, right? Uh, mission never ends. This is really cool. I love this one. I have this reverb splash. Uh, then, then we get to the pulses. Uh, lawnmower man. Uh, voice pan. Panning left and right. Here's without the pan. Uh, pulses. Right? Um... Here's Mega. Different variations on the idea. For those French pop songs. Then showing the different techniques. Snappy. This distorted version, and then we end with this, which is. So cool. So that, my dear friends, is. Omnipulse 3 Cinefire. Uh, very, very happy with how it turned out. Kind of just trying to go for something new. Sound design, cinematic, but pop as well, because pop is in me. <laughs> I, I'm not going to ever be able to get pop out. I'm not someone that can just focus on just cinematic by itself. There's other people that make great libraries for Omnisphere and other sense that that is their forte. That's not really my forte, but... This is taking some of that and mixing it with my DNA and coming up with something that I think is cool. So, if you buy the library, I sincerely thank you. Enjoy. Uh, be creative. I give tips and comments as far as sometimes for things that you can try. Just remember, these are all templates. So you can go to different waveforms, you can go to different art patterns, different LFO shapes. They will all change the sound in cool ways. So, enjoy, dig in, and I'll see you around. Thank you.